How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the Lincoln Project. This is a group of quote unquote conservative and quote unquote Republican, never Trumpers, Trump haters that have gotten together and formed a pack. Could be called a scam pack. I'll get to that in a little bit. But their whole thing is trying to keep Trump out of office by creating a bunch of ads through TV, through print, and through web. Okay, and they're kind of desperate, uh, you know, because the election is in November. We're in early May. So they're trying to pump out a lot of ads right now. Now, before I go any further and get into this whole group, let's roll one of the ads. After we get done watching that ad, you'll see Trump's response to said ad. After we get done with both, I'll come back, give you my two cents, my deep detail analysis, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. There's mourning in America. Today, more than 60,000 Americans have died from a deadly virus Donald Trump ignored. With the economy in shambles, more than 26 million Americans are out of work. The worst economy in decades. Trump bailed out Wall Street, but not Main Street. This afternoon, millions of Americans will apply for unemployment. And with their savings run out, many are giving up hope. Millions worry that a loved one won't survive COVID-19. There's mourning in America. And under the leadership of Donald Trump, our country is weaker and sicker and poorer. And now, Americans are asking, if we have another four years like this, will there even be an America? Paid for by The Lincoln Project, which is responsible for the content of this advertising. But it's a group of major losers. They're Republican losers. And if they would really think about it, I have 252 beautiful, brand new, conservative, wonderful judges, two Supreme Court judges that are great. We produced the greatest economy in history until a month and a half ago when we got hit by the virus and we had to close it down. And we'll do it again. We've rebuilt our military. We've done things that nobody has been able to do. I've gotten the greatest tax cuts in history, in the history of our country, the biggest tax cuts. The Democrats want to raise your taxes. I've gotten regulation cuts, the biggest in the history of our country, no matter how long a president served. With all of that, I guess they don't like me, but let me just tell you, these are losers from day one. Guys like Bill Crystal. He's been, he's 0 and 32. Yep. George Conway, you take a look at him. Just take a look at that guy. The man's a stone cold loser. So they should not call it the Lincoln Project. It's not fair to Abraham Lincoln, a great president. They should call it the Losers Project. Okay, thanks. All right, so you saw that, you heard that. Now, before I get into the ad and what Trump said, I have an issue with this group being called the Lincoln Project. You, you're using his name, number one, they're using his face and his likeness. You guys over there are not like Abraham Lincoln. This is not Lincoln-like. You guys are a bunch of liberals masquerading as conservatives or a bunch of butthurt people. Uh, maybe you didn't get a job in the White House, George Conway, and you're lashing out right now because you're still upset about that. Maybe your gravy train stopped when Trump came into office. I'm not sure what's going on, but this whole Lincoln Project thing, I'm not feeling the branding behind it. Change it to something else like Donald Trump said, but I'll move on. Anyway, let's get into the ad here, shall we? This was pretty ridiculous and pretty gross because how are you going to blame anybody for a virus? I mean, if you're going to blame somebody, blame those let it out uh, over in China. Blame them. You know, if they got disgusting conditions that will allow the virus to breed or if you have a lab that became compromised, blame them for letting it out to the public. Matter of fact, you can't blame China because they cut off travel 
in China before they cut off international travel, before Trump had to be the guy that cut off international travel from China. And then when he did that, what did people like you, George Conway and Rick Wilson and what was that Jennifer Horn? What did you guys say? Oh, that's racist. You're xenophobic. You're hating on the Chinese. That's what you guys said. But now all of a sudden, oh, Trump did that fast enough. Which one is it? I don't really know, but I digress. Also, there were some false things in the ad. He bailed out Wall Street, but didn't bail out Main Street. Excuse me. I mean, you got these checks coming out right now, the $1,200 plus the unemployment insurance. People are getting too much assistance. Actually, they're getting so much unemployment. Don't even want to go back to work because they're making more in unemployment than it would be working. So, I mean, what else you want them to do? It's actually been too much money given out. Trillions upon trillions. I'm actually, I'm the kind of guy that says we, we didn't done too much. Okay. So this whole thing about not bailing out Main Street is ridiculous. We, we bailed out Main Street, First Street, Third Street, 151st Street, and everywhere in between. <laughs> for real, we're doing a little bit too much. So this ad is just ridiculous. You can't blame the president for the virus happening. You should say thanks for cutting off the travel from China because if you listen to the World Health Organization and much of you guys over on the left, then we have a much worse situation on our hands if we don't. Okay, so this ad is just, it's just fear migraine because people are scared. You know, the average regular everyday normie that watches CNN and MSNBC, places like that, they don't understand what's happening with the virus and how it's been politicized, okay? By everybody, really, but these Lincoln Project clowns are doing it, especially they're capitalizing on your fear to make you be like, oh, it's Trump's fault. Trump did this. This is crazy. The virus is here. It's not really that serious. Like they're capitalizing off of how bad the media have portrayed the virus to actually be when it's not as bad when you compare it to a bad flu season and stuff like that. But I'll move on. I liked Trump's response. He was like, don't call it the Lincoln Project after a great man. Call it the Losers Project. OK, you got George Conway and what was that Rick Wilson, all these people, uh, Reed Galen, I'm against Reed Galen in a minute, but all these people are just losers and beyond them being losers, beyond them being haters, they're also trying to gain financially from this because when you look at the coffers and I'll place a link to their coffers in the box below on my website. So you'd be able to see it for yourself. A lot of the money that they're raising is going back to them. Reed Galen is getting like almost a million dollars from the money that they raise for his, what's that, the PR firm or consulting firm, whatever that is, okay? Most of the money that they raise is going right back to their own personal pocket. That's what's going on, okay? They might say, oh, well, I'm taking the money to pay media X, Y, and Z, but you still get in the first dibs on the cash, ain't you? Packs like this are commonly known from what I've been reading as scam packs. Now, I could be wrong. I could be misinformed, but like I said, if you want to see the numbers, I'll place those in the box. You can see it for yourself. These people are just trying to capitalize off of the brand that they built as being Trump haters. I'm on the website right now and you can even see it. Rick Wilson has an ad for his book, like on the site right there. Like if you go to lincolnproject.us, right there it says Rick Wilson. Rick is a longtime Republican media consultant and author of the New York Times bestselling book, Everything Trump Touches Dies. So if that ain't a book ad, I don't know what it is. Okay, he's telling you what's going on right there. So, I mean, what's really happening? These people do not have really uh, important careers or successful careers. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's pretty much what I'm looking at. George Conway being the chief guy. So they're trying to find other ways to be able to generate revenue. This is DC swamp ratness at its fullest <laughs> capacity. This is what they do in DC, which is why you got so much corruption. It's a lot of cash to be made, a lot of money is on the table. And then that's just kind of how it works. You know, if you've built a brand of being a never Trumper or a Trump hater, you get with other Trump haters, you form a pack and you get money from people that hate Trump as well. That's all that's going on. It's the same thing that the media are doing, the same thing that M13 NBC, same thing that the Chinese News Network are doing. They are capitalizing off of the Trump hate brand that they've built over the past few years. That's it. And that's all. So they can say we hate Trump. We don't want him in office. Is that in the third? But really, they do want him in office because they gain financially from him being there. If not for Trump being in office, what would CNN do for news? Huh? What would they really do? How would they be able to survive in the world where things are changing, where anybody trying to see your raggedy billboard Lincoln Project? 
Nobody's trying to watch your, you know, dry and vanilla programming. Don Lemon, Brian Stoker, and everybody, Nicole Wallace, the whole squad over there at CNN. Nobody wants to see that. They want to see the sensational headlines, almost like TMZ, you know, um, tabloid drama on television. That's what they want to see. And that's what you're able to spin from what Trump says to your audience that wants to hear it. That's why you're getting money that you're getting right now. If it were not for that, you'd be much worse off, maybe even out of business. And maybe that'd be a good thing when Trump is done after a second term, you guys go out of business and let the independent media, the alternative media rise up. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think the Lincoln Project guys are serious? Would they make a change in the country? Would they be able to get Trump out of office? Come November, or that's your viewpoint. Let me know why in the comments below. Or am I correct? Do you think these guys are a bunch of haters, a bunch of losers trying to capitalize off what they've built on the internet as far as being a Trump troll, a never Trumper, and have that financially benefit them? Guys like Reed Galen got a big ad company, takes a bunch of money and ad money from <laughs> the, the company to make ads. It's like, okay, you're an ad company getting paid to make ads from your pack. You, you see what's going on there? is to personally benefit them, not so much to get Trump out of office. It might not even work, really. They might even know that, but it doesn't matter because it's all about money. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I gotta say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.